Okay, welcome to EdsGuitarLessons.com. Just a little addendum. I did get my uh, Mustang GT100 pedal today. And, of course, I've been using, and I did a demo, uh, a demo on using the uh, Mustang 3 for button switch pedal. Uh, because I had a Mustang amp. I still do. Uh, and I like it. Uh, but this, of course, is for the GT. And so I thought, well, this is a four button switch, you know, the one that I'm, or, uh, I'm ordering uh, for the uh, GT. And then I said, this is a four button switch. I wonder if it'll work. You know, they had the same plug in, which is just a quarter inch plug. And what I found is it basically works. Uh, everything works on it that that works on the the new pedal. So they're uh, they appear to be identical. I'm not telling you uh, if something happens that's, you know, I'm using it, it worked. Uh, so I, I, uh, I'm just letting you know, I don't, I, I don't perceive that it's going to cause any damage using the uh, Mustang 3 pedal on the GT. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to use, I'm going to switch over. I, but I was just curious, does it work? And it does do the same functions. The only thing that's wrong with uh, the pedal is some of the things are moved around a little bit uh, and a little bit different, okay? Um, and so uh, here's the pedal here, and you can see uh, the names, I hope. Uh, there's a glare. Let me take the glare off. There we go. Let's put this up on its edge there. Okay, so you can kind of see the pedal. Um, and that would be the correct configuration of what's going to what the buttons are going to do uh, as you look at this and they're in a manual so um, um, and I didn't mention last time that these two buttons here when you hold them together it, it banks up it makes the banks go from uh, instead of one two three they go to uh, four five six and then on the left side that's banked down when you hold those two together. That's and uh, there's a QA mode up there, uh, and both of them have that light. Uh, the Mustang 3 doesn't have the, uh, the nomenclature on it, but the light is there. Okay, there's nothing written on there, but that's called quick QA, quick access mode, and what that is, that's going to go to your three most favorite ones that you save. Okay. If you save uh, in, in, sec in uh, banks one, two, and three. So if your favorite patches are in patch one, two, three, and you're in that mode, let's see, so we're going yellow. Oh, I was just there. So if you're in that mode up there, it's the quick access mode, okay? And that means when I'm in that mode and I hit these buttons, no matter where I am here, I could be at 100, it's going to go back to number one for quick access to get back to my number one, two, and three, which are my favorites, okay, where you would save your favorites. Okay, and I think you can change these to whatever number you want, but this one's set up, the amp set up to uh, basically uh, be one, two, and three, or my quick access. So that's what that light there does, okay. Let's look at it here. So the quick access mode light, okay, on top. Then your presets uh, would be, that's your first light or your first bank. Then your uh, effects and then your looper. So it's everything that's on here on the new pedal works exactly like this and how it's configured and how it's stamped on here but it's different on here the the names are different they're totally different so but it does work so if you were to change the names or get your little uh you know piece of tape or whatever and you can put the name of this you know what's ever here over the top of that and so on so you could switch it over so that's uh that's my take on uh the the, the pedals uh your so if you want to save 79 dollars or you don't have 79 dollars but you had the mustang 3 and you wanted to use it for the GT, uh, it will definitely work because I just uh, I've just tried it and they both work exactly the same. So anyway, I hope that's helpful to somebody out there. Thanks for watching EdsGuitarLessons.com. 
God bless you and have a wonderful day.